So in this lesson, I want to finish off the carousel indicators. The last lesson we added in the different controls for left and right, and we started on the indicators here. So the indicators are as represented by an ordered list, and we've got a bunch of list items within the ordered list, and this is how we print, uh, bring up all of our carousel items. And as soon as, so I need to save this and refresh it, because it looks like we've lost all of our default images there, and we see as I add in list items, I can see that I've got all of my carousel items. Uh, so all of them are just showing up there as uh, ability to kind of click through them. But at this point, they don't really do anything yet. They're just a bunch of empty list items and they don't have any actions attached to them. And this is where we need to specify what we want to do and how we want to attach these actions. So we've already set carousel indicators. So within these list items, we need to set a data target and this helps Bootstrap understand what particular carousel we're targeting. So if you want to get really creative, you can actually target different carousels if you had multiple ones within different examples. Although I'm not sure why you would want to do that, but of course it is available. So we know that we're targeting the My Carousel, so still not the functionality that we wanted to. So we need to specify what we want to happen. And this is where we do data slide to. So this is this, uh, similar to where we just have a hyperlink and we can specify what slide, which one of these divs here, the carousel items, we want that particular link to slide to. Now typically you do it with 0, 1, 2, 3, but of course you can specify it however you want to specify it. So for this instance, it just makes more sense just to do it within order because uh, this is probably what your users are expecting. So now whenever I click it, so I'm going to save it, and I click it, we can slide to the correct, uh, the correct image that we're specifying here. Uh, so one of the other things here, uh, maybe you want to start off by setting an active one. So we can easily add an active class to this particular element, and that essentially gives us that filled in version so we know which one is currently active. And uh, jQuery Bootstrap handles the rest of it as we move through the different classes. So essentially, this is how you can build out your own carousel on your website, and you see that we've got full control, and uh, you can also make some updates with the jQuery and create different interval speeds and so on in order to transform your carousel and customize in the way that you want to. So, and as I said, I want to try out to place lorem pixel uh, images into my uh, into my project here. But it looks like we're just going to stick with the placeholder. Uh, so this was just a way to get some actual images, uh, placeholder images, and this would make that project, these carousel items, look a lot better and more presentable. Uh, so this is something that you can do in the upcoming uh, lesson, just uh, on your own, update these images and really bring this carousel to life.